Good morning, my boy squad. What's up? So guys, we're on a different part of the island. A beautiful day. We had a great show yesterday. So now we're going to relax and do some cool outdoorsy stuff. Lots of amazing stuff ahead planned for you guys, my boy squad. And RJ and I, we're going to be doing something we've never done ever. Guys, check out what we're doing now. Golf carts! <laughs> awesome! Look at these! Wow! You guys, the whips! Look at the golf carts! I, this is amazing! They've got lots of them! And look at their family home! <gasps> what a dream home! This is my dream! Oh my goodness! Okay, and, and we have to sit. Oh, oh, we, okay. Oh, you guys are color coordinated over there. Yes, let's do this. Casal is driving. Right. Yes. What part of the island is this? Um, it's near Long. Near Long. Yeah. And this is the northern part of Palau? Or? Yes. yes. Yeah, this is the northern yes, part of is. Palau. It's like countryside. Even though all of Palau is pretty much countryside for me anyway. Wow. I love the red soils. We have farms here, farms up there. Wow. Wow, look at this place. First of all, look at these mangroves. Love them. There must be so many animals living around here. We got mangroves here. We got pine tree, like conifers here. Wow. Look. And look at this rock cliff. You can go rock climbing. Awesome. Wow. Oh man, there must be so many animals here. For sure, there must be so many animals here. Awesome, look at this getaway. Oh, cool, look at that little island out there. I like that island. Guys, I wanna live on that island. Name it after you. Mikey Island. <laughs> no, I would call that island Mabuhai Island. Or Mabuhai Squad Island. What do you guys think? Hmm? Okay, it's ours. Let's claim it. That is our island. Mabuhay Squad Island. <laughs> Land grabbing. It's, it's ours now. Good morning, Ron. Good morning. How are you? Good. Guys, Ron was yesterday's MC. He did a great job at the show. They Thank love you. you. Thank you. And we've been trying to convince him to start a YouTube channel. What do you guys think, huh? Subscribe to him. Oh boy, we're off-roading, guys. Yeah! Oh, oh boy. Whoa. Whoa! Here we go, this is the roller coaster of Palau. <laughs> wow, look at the scenery. Look at the red soils. Clay. It's clay? Yeah. This is kind of scary. Yeah, look at, we could just fall. I'm kind of concerned. Whoa! Okay, yeah. Wow. We're tipping over that is now. Amazing. <laughs> Holy. We're gonna go in there? It's whoa! <laughs> oh yeah. my god! This is scary! My whole face is shaking! <laughs> whoa! Oh my gosh! Holy check out the hole! Holy clay! Wow! Wow, it's beautiful up here! What? It's awesome! Look at the scenery! Wow. Holy! The colors! I feel like we're dune bashing in Dubai, but this is like the Palau landscape. Look at that, look at that cliffside. Unbelievable. Whoa, so cool. Oh. Awesome. <laughs> wow, it's beautiful. I love this. It's so relaxing actually. You got the ocean that way. So my boy squad, apparently this view is amazing. Holy, wow, what a view. Boy squad, check this out. Wow, look at the expanse of ocean. 
It's so beautiful. Wow, what a view, really nice. What a view. Oh, and there's our Mabuhay Squad Island. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. So cool. Look at all of the, look at the different colors of blues in this ocean. Like, that's what I'm chipping out at. I guess it's fairly shallow, even way down there. <gasps> Awesome. Okay, my boy squad, they're telling us that this is the scary part. Ron, are you ready? I am ready. Okay. I got my camera ready. I'm gonna hold on to this part. Should I put on my seat? No, I'm right. All right. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is pretty steep. Oh my God. Whoa. Oh. Ah. Okay. All right. That was all right. Oh. Oh, no. oh my gosh. This is bump. Oh this is bumpier than the skin of a toad. Is that what happened to the last tourists? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back. Look at that beautiful house. It's just gorgeous. Man, you guys are so lucky. This is their family home. All the kids, unks, uncles, aunts, grandparents, they're all, they come here and they gather and hang out. That was fun. That was fun? Yeah. We're alive! And now we're packing for our great excursion, my boy squad. I am super excited about this. And don't worry, we'll explain everything. This will all make sense in time. Look at the backyard of the Whips family's vacation home here in Palau. Look at it! Look at look at their home! This is like my dream home, seriously. Look at look at a pool with a slide, waterfall. You got playground for the grandkids and the kids, fire pit, basketball half court on the other side. And that's not all. There's so much inside the home that you guys would trip out at. But out of respect, I, I don't want to vlog too much because you know it really is their family gathering home base. So I, I want to respect that. I don't want to show too much. But Mobohai Squad, trust me, this is a dream home. What the? This thing's alive! It's vacuuming! It's cleaning the bottom of the pool without anybody! Wow! This is a digital pool boy! It even has a tail! What the? Oh my goodness! Wow! So guys, by the way, the Whips family is um, a very well-known family here in Palau. Um, they run several businesses in different industries um, and the father of Eric is the chief of the state that the whips live in so very important person <laughs> and that explains all of this <gasps> can you imagine being the chief of like a state in Palau that's pretty amazing what I think is great though is that the family gets together here often and they meet i think there are 27 of them like immediate family and they just kind of meet here frequently and spend quality time together as a family and that's why they've built this dream family gathering home pretty incredible if you ask me this is my dream this is my dream <laughs> And Eric and Joy Whips have been so, so good at taking care of us and hosting RJ and I and Christine. It's been really amazing. They've arranged all of our schedules and they were the ones who produced the concert, which was a huge success yesterday. Super happy about it. Um, I'm just totally grateful to this family. So guys, so far, I find this part of the island is dominated by yellow crazy ants. If you watch my ant channel, it's the Golden Empire species. They run this island. Anoplepis gracilipes. Christine is staying behind. Bye, Christine. Enjoy the home. <laughs> I would have totally loved to stay. <laughs> Just enjoy the home. All right, my boy squad. We're driving now to a cool destination. Eric, I was telling my boy squad about how your dad is the chief. Correct? Yes. Yes. He's a uh, mother Ibala, which is a chief from Lerlong State, and he's also. The Rangam Sikh, which I told you earlier, from Adbang State. So he does have two titles, yes. Oh, and what does a chief do? Like, what are their responsibilities? In they help, Palau? I mean, the chief is appointed by the clan and they help with the land and also with the community. They represent the clan. Wow. Would that be kind of like Palau's version of, I don't know, a mayor or something like that? 
Well, I, I guess a little different because it's it's not elected over the whole thing. It's elected by the clan, chosen by the clan. I it's see. a little bit different. Wow, yeah. interesting. Because we do have governors and you know, uh, okay, so, officials. Ah, uh, okay, so they do have like a government side, yeah, like a U.S. The, sort of base. Because we have House of Traditional Leaders, and then we also have the government side, which is the mm. state legislature and the, court, like the government. Yeah, it seems like the chief side is mm. is very cultural, like it's yes. deeply yes. rooted in, in history of Rao. Correct. Yeah. Correct. I see. Okay, we're visiting now the stone monoliths. Whoa, this is history, speaking of which. Wow, look at this. Oh, my boy squad, this is incredible. They're huge. Rock monoliths. Oh, look at them. I wonder how they got here. Like it's in the middle of a big field. Like, you know what I mean? It's it's not near the ocean or anything. Wow. Ron, can you explain to us what these stone monoliths are all about? Yes, okay. So it started with, um, we have gods and demigods in Palau and these are the ones that sort of created uh, the organization of Palau and you know mm. designed our our government what our our structure was before with chiefs and all that stuff like they they oh, came wow. down to earth and created all this stuff this I is see. the legend this is the legend that uh, that this sort of talks about and so for the sky gods there was only two ways to come to Palau and that is either through the north part which is here uh, and then through the south part so this was kind of like the exit that takes you to the heavens oh and then down south is what takes you back down to earth so there's only two ways one one out and one in like one exit one entrance interesting and so this was the exit and so the sky gods decided to build uh sort of a, a house or the gods wanted to create one for them for them to rest before they go up back up so they can all meet up because everybody had different times to finish their jobs and their work so they would all they, they wanted to build something here to to rest before they go but one of the demigods got jealous and okay. he said you know i'm not I, I want this built in my state or in my area and so he took coconut husks and put them together and burned them and it turned into a rooster Okay. And for the wow, this story is long and epic. Yeah, it is. It is. And so, while they were doing it, then the the demigod uh, burned the coconut husk, and it turned into a chick, a, a rooster, and it crowed. Okay. And all the gods thought that it is morning already, so they all dropped everything and they didn't finish this abai that they were supposed to build, and they oh. left all their stuff here. Oh, so this is kind of like the stuff that they've like dropped what because yep. they disappeared right. they thought it was morning oh but these this is a lot of big stones to drop wow look at the size of this one they were so these are apparently the materials of the abai that the sky gods were about to build here wow amazing this is cool yeah it's really really cool sky gods sky gods aka <laughs> we were talking about ancient aliens. Any ancient alien fans out there? I totally believe humans and like, you know, celestial beings have been in contact for thousands of years. But let's leave that for another vlog. Holy, there's more! And look, like uh, some of them have faces. Wow, this was definitely men like altered. You know what I mean? Like these were put here. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And like a lot of them are clearly cut, you know, by by people or the sky gods. Oh man, it's fantastic. Fantastic, fantastic. Of course, not to discredit or, you know, try to explain the myths and the mythology of Palawans, but I really believe that a lot of civilizations in the past and possibly even people today are in close contact with extraterrestrial civilizations. I believe that. And you know, when I first came here in Palau, I felt like the islands had this energy, right? It's hard to explain. You guys need to come here. You'll, you'll feel it. I wouldn't be surprised, basically, if this was like an extra extraterrestrial earthen base, you know, for a civilization up in space. 
Mm -hmm. Do you guys believe in aliens? Do you? My oh boy squad, I'd like you to meet the lady who takes care of this place. Hello. It's beautiful here. Yes. It's great that they've preserved this section. Very good. So come and see her when you come here, guys. <laughs> wow. My boy squad, check out this view. <gasps> this is gorgeous. Gorgeousness. Wow. Unbelievable. They're so lucky to be able to enjoy this. Like, I, I can't get over this. This is just such a beautiful island. Man. Hi. Why are they laughing at me? Hi. <laughs> Guys, we're here at the dock. Well, you know, Hi, Joy. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Okay, we're stopping by in this village called Nar Along. And uh, in every village, there's like, in our country's elders. It's very like the, uh, you know, there's chief, there's barangay captain. Or basically, this, this is their people. So we're just doing a courtesy call. Ooh. Thank you for hosting us. These are VIPs. Sort of, yes. Elderly <laughs> VIPs. <gasps> Adobo. Hi. <laughs> My boy Scott, they're like, Adobo. It's interesting to see who's watched what video. <laughs> Hello. Hi. 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 Ali. 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 Yay. Yay. Okay, and now we're taking pictures. And now uh, with us. With, you with us. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Thank you for having us. Uh, thank you. Salamat, as they say hey, in Filipino. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> okay. Mabuhay. Mabuhay. Oh, this man here is the chief. Oh. I see. His uh, title is Budurale. Uh, Budurale. Budurale. And his uh, name is Antonino Clora. Antonino. Nice to meet you, my boy squad. It's Chief Antonino. Yes. <laughs> Why are they laughing? <laughs> They're talking about me. <laughs> Bye. 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 So long. Okay, my boy squad. Now it's time to explain why we are here. We are going deep sea fishing. Yeah! I've never done this. You didn't know this? <laughs> Guys, we're going out in the ocean and we're going fishing. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so I've gone fishing, right? I'm Canadian. I've gone fishing at lakes, at ponds, rivers, streams, all of that. But never in the ocean. Oh. I hear it's a different thing. No, it's so different, man. Right? Yeah. Oh my Especially goodness. With the waves <gasps> and the bigger fishes. Oh. And shark. And the shark. You think that's shark? A there are sharks here? Oh, my boy squad. We might see sharks. Wow, this is serious now. We're entering a whole different biome. The ocean is another world. Guys, I have so many new friends here. Hello. Hello. Ali. <laughs> Ali. <laughs> yes. I love meeting the, the kids of like new places. They're so friendly. <laughs> Bye. Sulang. All right, my boy squad. I'd like you to meet some new friends. What are your names? My Ali. name is Ali. Co-captain. Yes. Captain Hadley. Captain awesome. Hadley. Yes, captain and co-captain. And they're going to be our tour guide, boat guide, fisher guide. Guide of life over the next little all day actually. Yeah. 12 hours. What are we expecting to catch? Uh, red snapper, white, Ooh. skipjack, Ooh. Ooh. barracuda, baby shark. Barracuda, baby shark. <gasps> wow, 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 wow. My boy squad, this is cool. Yeah. Kaya, how many times have you done this deep sea fishing? Um, a few times. Um, wow. So awesome. This is crazy. Kaya, these are all your cousins? Yeah, all my first cousins. All your first cousins. There's way more. I know. I heard there's like 28 of you, right? Wow. OMG, guys. Look at this. Look what they're doing. They're mixing Kool Aid with. Either Guinea or Sinigang mix. Sinigang mix? What? 
You mix it, and then what? And then you eat it. Like you eat just the powder? Yeah. Wait, is this a Palau thing? Yeah. Really? I've never known that. My boy squad, try this. Get a Kool-Aid pack, get Kool-Aid powder, and mix it with sinigang mix. Oh, and you dip cucumbers in it? Yes. Oh, wow. This is so neat. Or like unripe mango. And then shake it. I just imagine it tastes like sweet sinigang. No? Oh, my. Let her think it's Oh. Okay, my boy squad, time for the taste test. Let's try this. Have you ever thought of mixing Kool-Aid mix and sinigang? Okay, so now you Pinch go. Okay, one, so we so grab a cucumber. I'll try it. It's like pickled. Try, try, try. Oh my. RJ, yeah, let's try it. Oh. How is it? It's pickled. <laughs> it's like it's weird. It tastes weird? Yeah. Oh, okay, so I've dipped it. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> oh. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. 